Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here and welcome back to another Monster Hunter Generations video. So, today I am continuing my brand new journey. Uh, let me just grab these items. I'm also doing this on live today, so let's hope I don't uh, die in the process. But, if you guys saw my last episode, I kicked things off and basically said I'm going to try and let's play through um, as much of the game as possible. Show you guys some sort of key fights and whatnot. I have filtered out some of the kind of more monotonous things, so obviously, you know... When you start a Monster Hunter game, I'm sure most of you guys are very familiar with the fact that you go around you know, gathering mushrooms, gathering herbs, killing 10 of this, killing 10 of that. Um, and of course, 1 star and 2 star quests are a lot of that. So, I've done a fair bit of that already, and I've now got to the point where I'm fighting slightly more notable monsters. I haven't really got to anything particularly new just yet, so we're on our way to fight Kezu this time because... I am considering creating a sort of interim armor set, and then I can kind of go on to farm Astalos, hopefully very, very soon. Um, but this time I've switched as well to guild style. I believe in my last episode, I think I was either Striker or... Actually, no, I think I was Bushido. Um, and... Or Adept, sorry, should I say. I have now switched to guild, mainly because I went to Striker for a bit, because I like the longsword hunting arts, so I wanted to try and sort of use more of them. But one of the problems with Striker is that you don't have quite so much flexibility with your Fade Slashes. You can only Fade Slash back. It's more like Monster Hunter Freedom uh, Unite, kind of old school or like try, so to speak. Whereas with Guild, of course, you know, when you attack, you can face slash left and right, and you've got the follow up as a shortcut to your Gate Builder. So, yeah, basically, Guild is still good because I still have two slots. So I'm running with Unhinged Spirit, which is the one that you basically get infinite uh, spirit gauge, and I've also got Critical Juncture. So that's the counter one. I've also turned my HUD off so that I can, you know, I can flick it back on if I need it, but I figure it looks slightly more exciting this way. And if I do anything really, really cool, <laughs> I say if emphasis on that um, then it means I can kind of use it and there's no like HUD all over the way all over the place I do I do of course need to make sure that I try and check my life more often because if I end up dying it's probably gonna be because I haven't seen my health either way um, let's do this I have since got a few new oh no, crap since got a few new pieces of gear uh, I should probably actually target Kezu as well I've got the Tetsukabra legs uh, waist and helmet this isn't like a tactical mix set by the way this is a mix set for no apparent reason other than the fact that I discovered this acorn armor. Oh no, not again! No! I've never seen it before. Weirdly, I didn't see it in Moss Hunter Cross. Maybe because I didn't really pay too much attention to like the lower rank armors. Um, but, one second. Just stay top top. Um, yeah, but it's basically like the acorn armor you can get for your palico. There's only a helmet and a chest piece, obviously, to mirror the palico, um, which is. You know, super cool. Oh, not again. No. This is... I should have gone Bushido for this one. I'm also planning on jumping between like, different styles. I think what I'll do is, like, each of the next hunts that I record, I'll use a different style each time, and then probably settle on where I'm going to be most happy. Anyway, yeah. So I went to make the acorn armor because I was like, this looks cool. I want to make it anyway. And, um... It's obviously completely mixed, so it has no value whatsoever. Yes, there we go. Um, but it looks kind of cool. There's also a helmet, but I need some more materials for it, so I'll get that soon. My next aim, though, um, hopefully if I can get far enough in the um, online quests, is to farm Astalos, because I feel like he's the underappreciated of the um, of the flagship monsters. Like, everyone's like, oh yeah, Dino, I mean, Dino Valor is obviously my favourite one. He's like the super, super cool one and everything. Um, but... I made all of this stuff before. Oh, I forgot to... Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the one thing about not having my HUD up. Didn't realise how much gauge I had. Oh, well. Still good for damage. Um, yeah, whereas I still lost that, you know, like... You have Gamoth, who is this massive mammoth, and everyone's like, oh, that's cool, looks it looks new. And you've got Tamitsune, who is the... Oh, sorry, Mizutsune, who is, um, you know, really, really different as well. Oh, I'm going to get killed. Let's try not to die on this video. Live coming and trying to, like... This is, this is a... This is an ordeal. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, like Mizutsune obviously looks like that. Whereas Astalos is, yeah, they're probably the one that sort of people kind of forget about a lot of time. So I want to show that he is super awesome. Plus, he has some really cool looking gear, and the Palico gear makes him look like uh, makes your Palico look like Carmen Rider. So what is not to like about that? Where's my Hudder? Oh, I've got there we go. Cool, sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, let's try this. Going for this. Bait slash shortcut. Bam. Oh no, you would fly away, wouldn't you? No! <laughs> Alright, it's cool, it's cool. Yeah, and this longsword I've got as well, it's made of uh, Mufa parts, which is like the new monster, uh, not monster, the new kind of poogie 
I would say replacement, but Pookie is still in this, so it's not like a proper replacement. Um, but yeah, it's like the little sheep llama looking thing. I need to paintball. And he's gone to the other place. Of course he has. No, he hasn't. He's here. Yes, sweet. I've also been trying to like put in some more practice with longsword. As I said to you guys before in the last episode, I like to try and pick a weapon that I haven't really like main for a while. Each time I play a new Monster Hunter game, so Cross, of course, I did a lot of focus on whoa, on sword and shield. And I want to do longsword this time. One of the things I'm messing up with a lot at the moment is I'm rolling a lot more than I'm face slashing, so I'm not putting myself far enough away um, to dodge attacks. So I do need to be careful with that. I want to make sure I'm getting like hit quite a lot with longsword, so I do need to improve. Um, but obviously, that comes with practice. I know how the weapon works, obviously, you know, from tutorials and whatnot, but I haven't spent as much time with this as I have, say, sword and shield. Let's use one of my arts now, shall we? Bam! Bam! Let's try and actually get the uh, the glowing blade, shall we? There we go! That's white glow. Uh, let's try and go in again. Please don't zap yet. Yes, this could be good, this could be good. Wire! Perfect. Oh, I missed the first time. Oh well. Come on! Oh, I was too eager. Yes! Alright, that's... Oh no, no! <laughs> nearly, nearly. Could have been so cool. Instead... Oh no, get out the way! Yeah, so I uh, I think also because I'm, I'm like so conditioned to using Sword and Shield that I'm using... Oh no, no, get out of the way. Dave! I'm using Longsword like it's the length of a Sword and Shield a lot of the time. I'm like, I'm much closer than I need to be. You know, I've got so much reach with this Longsword that I should just be... No, I, I'm not taking advantage of that fully. But that'll come with in time. Oh, again, again, again. Yeah, I think this should have been a... This should have been a Bushido one. Doesn't matter. It's all good, it's all good. We good. We Gucci. And all that jazz. Loving that voice as well. Let's try this. I know. Oh, every time, every time. Every time I decide to go in and try and build my gauge, she's like, nope, zap. Again. I'm gonna get zapped. Yep. It's all good. All right. Let me just focus for a second. Try and make some progress. Uh, oh my gosh. Leave me alone, Kezu. Kezu is, weirdly though, one of my favourite monsters. His theme tune is my most favourite theme tune in the entire Monster Hunter series. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to invite questions for that. I'm like, what? He doesn't have a theme tune. Precisely. Oh no. Zaya. All right. We're cool. We're ready. No, you don't. Fire. Cool. All right. Yellow. We're good. We're good. Admittedly, by this time in Monster Hunter Cross, I'd already farmed like three armor sets because I was like, oh, new stuff, let me go and farm this. Um, oh no, didn't mean to do that. Come on, can I get it? No, he's gonna jump his knee. Ah, uh, damn. Yeah, so I'm trying to sort of like, I'm going in like hard mode this time. Oh, yeah, well, I've got Unhinged Spirit, what am I doing? No, every time <laughs> I make the worst decisions. Come on, hopefully if he can fly. This is only level 1 Unhinged Spirit, so I'm not going to go um, too far with it. Also, I'm hoping I can finish this video in time as well. Uh, obviously, bear in mind the game isn't out just yet, so I have limitations on how much I can show you and for how long. Um, so, hopefully this falls within the uh, the time limit. Should do. It's only, a, it's only a HR3. Not even HR, sorry. It's a 3-star village Kezu. Come on, buddy. Yeah, I've definitely wasted my hunting spirit. No! Once you get to like level 3 or level 2 of that, it lasts longer. Um, which is handy. Obviously, it takes longer to build as well. But. Geronimo! Bam! Oh, I missed. 
That could be so cool. Let me try and get a critical juncture, shall we? Attack me. Will this work? I hope so. No! You can't counter that. Are you serious? What? Oh, no. Glad I didn't do that on low health. That could have been awkward. I'm also running with the long, this long sword as well because it's like the only one at the moment, or one of the few ones at the moment. I actually have green sharpness, which is handy. Speaking of which, I do need to have a cheeky sharpen if I get the chance. Please don't hit me. You are, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh. Oh no. No! Oh, I thought I was dead. I thought I was dead. Right, cool. I really do hate fighting this area. I remember way back in Freedom Unite, the first time I ever fought Kezu, he gave me so much trouble. Kezu and Tigrex were like two big bottlenecks for me back in the... Oh no, yep. Faint on the video! Ayya. It's alright, it's alright. Happens to the best of us. It is what it is. That was uh, basically an unavoidable situation. Oh no, he's here. I'm thinking of in the in Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. There we go. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I missed. Why Oh no! Oh, my opportunity. I'm in a bad place. I'm in a very bad place. He's probably like one shot. Try. Oh. Alright, alright. Calm down, mister. Oh no! Yeah. Every time. The lightning. Oh, oi, 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 oi. Cool. Right. It's kind of like playing like hardcore mode when you have no HUD. I mean, I know you can bring it up, but it's just like, you never really know what's going on. It's kind of fun. But yeah, the reason I'm doing this mainly is because it often happens, like I had it before like, in, in streams in the past, where something really, really cool will happen. And I can still use the footage, you know, I've, I've done like Monster Hunter highlights from like my live stream before, but I think it just looks so much cooler if there's just nothing on screen. So, um, yeah, that's the plan. Oh no! Alright, we're nearly there. Yes, there we go. Sweet! Alright. Took a little bit longer than I thought it would do, um, but truth be told, I haven't really upgraded my weapons too much, so I'm technically still running like one star stuff in my three star quest. But either way, it's been good. Um, that's a continuation of the journey. Let me actually carve here. So, as mentioned, I will be documenting my progress kind of going forward, um, picking out some of the most or the more interesting fights, so I won't necessarily do everything um, until I start getting further on, and then of course we'll be recording a lot more. But there will of course be more tutorials on the channel coming soon. I've also got the okay to do a few more live streams, so I'll have a few more live streams happening likely this week. Uh, so do stay tuned to the channel and Twitter for that one. But for the time being, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to leave a like if you did. Comment down below, let me know what you thought. And let me know how you guys have been getting on with the Monster Hunter Generations demo now that it is available to everyone. And thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.